hello guys come right back in welcome to another live session i know that it's been holiday a holiday and i haven't been doing much lives but guess what today we're having a special live session and you don't want to miss it so when you come in guys go ahead click on that share button share with your friends share in your groups because today we're having an exclusive exclusive session Charmelia and I we're gonna be talking a little bit on my page and then we're gonna jump over onto her YouTube page and we're gonna be talking what I want for you to do today also guys is to go on Charmelia's YouTube page and I want for you to follow her subscribe right that's what you do on YouTube right. you subscribe so you follow me on Facebook and I want for you guys to subscribe to her YouTube. So good afternoon, everybody. Happy holidays to you. I mean, the holiday has been really wonderful. And of course, to top it all off, I get to spend the day with my girlfriend. We have been friends for over 20 years. We go way back to maybe the early 90s or somewhere about there. So yes, pretty much over 20 years, guys. We have been friends, we have been singing together. So sitting next to me right now is my beautiful, <laughs> Charming, <laughs> adorable, awesome friend, Charmely Morgan. Go ahead and greet the audience, Charm. <laughs> Hello, Charmely. Everybody, hi. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them. <laughs> All right, so he was not the she, father. She done, she done you. He got was the, not the, the father. Long time. <laughs> We're gonna talk a little bit about that no, because you know what, guys? Guess what? Um, oh, <laughs> here you go. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> so, um, so I grew up knowing Charlie as Charlie Morgan, right? Right. Um, because we used to sing together. We still do sing together. I think you know before we get off this land, we could we could do, do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could do something. Um. Oh yeah, Morgan. What happened with that name? I mean, yes, you're married. All right. But yeah, what happened to that name? So I, I grew up with the name Morgan. I mm -hmm. didn't know um, any differently that I was not Morgan. However, I migrated from Jamaica and I came overseas. And in 2013, mm -hmm. which was not very long, very long ago, ago exactly. Yes, my my mother got hit by a car. Wow. And so I drove down to New York. Mm -hmm. you know this, right? I drove down to New York and, um, you know, to comfort her right. and to help her out. I remember um, when she had that accident. Yes, yeah. and, 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 you know, mm -hmm. eventually she was okay. Mm -hmm. But I went down on my knees and I was praying for mommy. Mm -hmm. I was praying that God would make her whole and, mm -hmm. You know just help her through the processes and in the process of praying you know that God will just help her I also prayed for generational curse to be broken wow. and I got up off my knee mm -hmm. I remember it was a Sabbath morning right I didn't go to church because I wanted to keep her company mm -hmm. and I just got up off my knees I sat down on the bed mm -hmm. and I said mommy who's my father Wow. That was not me. Wow. I never thought of it. Wow. No one has ever told me mm -hmm. that I didn't have the right father. But mm -hmm. let me tell you, when you pray and trust, God is always with you. Mm -hmm. I want I want a viewer to know that. God is always with you. And mm -hmm. so you can tell him anything right, that right. comes to mind. Anything mm -hmm. that you are feeling, mm -hmm. then you talk to him about yeah. it. Um, nobody has ever told me. A matter of fact, I got to know my father after 2013. And he died in 2017. What? I was able to put closure on that. So, oh, wow. I'm not a oh, Morgan. God. I'm a lynch. Are you? Oh, yes. Girl, and yes. I don't like that name either. Oh, my Sorry. word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Yes, I, for, I forgot that's the name you started using. Yes. Um, no, lynch. no. I just yes. put it on Facebook, but I yes. never changed it or anything. Mm. My father called me about five days before his final hour oh, wow. and he said change your name and mm -hmm. never forget that I love you and 
just hearing my father say I love you, those are words that I will never ever oh forget God. as long as I live. Whoa. And, you know, I was able to go attend his funeral. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Did I you get to him. meet him before he died? I knew him all my life. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? I knew him all my life, Tommy. Oh my God! Listen, tell tell me about that knowing him all your life, and you didn't know that he was your father. All right, so he was a reputable man in our community mm -hmm. as we grew up. Mm -hmm. Boy. Those generation back then, the women weren't easy. You know, my mother was was nothing new under the sun. The mm -hmm. best friend, my, uh, I'm not putting my mother down. Right. I love my mother. Don't mm -hmm. go around with the story now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. But it was my mother's best friend. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Men, you was can't my... trust those male <laughs> best friends. Don't trust them. Oh my word. Yes, it was my mother's best friend mm -hmm. at the time, and you know, um. So I, I can understand why she kept it a secret right, right. from me and, and, and guess what? He knew, mm -hmm. I grew up with him and he was very nice to me. Right, right. As a matter of fact, my sister um, told me that he was very fickle mm -hmm. when he would see me passing and he saw me passing going to school. Mm -hmm. And when I got to know him, he said, you look just like my mother. Wow. You look just like my wow. mother, so I, I, I can understand yes. why he was all excited, but he, his words were, and I quote, Adam Mother, he said, Adam Mother, he said, I guess, you know. Um, because most men believe that women have that responsibility, yeah. responsibility rather, to say who the father is, and yeah. I believe it is rightly so, yes. right? I don't think it's fair to kids when they grow up not knowing who their real father is. I mean, it does something to them. Yes, it's like it, a part of you is missing not knowing who your real father is. Absolutely. Yeah. And I grew up thinking that this man who my mother gave to me was my father. And he was, when I, I knew him when I was 13. You see how the oh, story wow. unfolds? Mm -hmm. That man, Morgan man, mm -hmm. he, I knew him when I was 13. That's when you met him, when you were 13? When I was 13, oh, honey. I, I just started high school. And um, I, I don't know, but he was not very kind to me. I think oh he my. knew um, mm -hmm. the story right, and right. knew that I wasn't his. Mm -hmm. And so my father was, my real father was a kind man. Wow. Here's something miraculous that happened. Mm -hmm. One day I was coming from school, I was going home mm -hmm. and he called me, he had a shop, you know, those roadside shops mm -hmm. back in the day. Right, right. And he called me and Back in the day, bun and cheese and box juice, juice. Mm -hmm. were specialties mm -hmm. for especially primary school yes. kids. Yes. And I remember he called me, said, little girl, mm -hmm. come here. And he was always picking coconut and, right. and, and because, giving it to you. Yes, because the base, my basic school mm -hmm. was, um, I had to pass his house right, right. to get there. Uh -huh. And he called me and he gave me that bun and cheese. Mm. And yes, guys, like up the like thing. Just click like and, and click love. On the share you know, button. Not, Come on. I'm making myself really yes. vulnerable at this mm -hmm. point because I've never spoken about it before. Yeah. Mm. I'm not not online anyway. We're doing exclusives today, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exclusives. Come on. Oh my word. Yes. Come on. Yes. Comment, like, and share. Comment, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, um, in Jamaica, though, I'm going to get back to the point. But in Jamaica, it it's is quite prevalent. Very, it is, it is, mm -hmm. it is prevalent where women And I don't think on, it's only in Jamaica, I think it's prevalent everywhere, everywhere. But, but in Jamaica there, yes. is a, there is a high, high percentage, percentage, about 75%, yes, 75 percent. Yes. and you hit it mm -hmm. right on, that's, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. that's the percentage of um, children who have the wrong father. Mm -hmm. And so I was telling you that the man called me and he gave me bun and cheese. And I had mm -hmm. a connection yeah. to him mm. that I didn't know what it was wow. at the time. I, I left the shop, you know, mm -hmm. said thank you and I left. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that that connection, yes. I, I couldn't the explain blood. it. It's the, yes. blood. the blood is strong. I wasn't able to yes. explain it, guys. Mm -hmm. And it was 2013, mm. the year 2013, wow. that I knew why. That I felt that way after so, so many years. So you met your father at age thirteen, and then and you, your 
so-called father. At 2013. And then at 13, in 2013, you met so your real about father. 30. Wow. Yes. Wow. And um, <laughs> it was funny because it was then I released myself psychologically mm -hmm. because I, I honestly, I would not treat men kindly. Mm. I used to be aggressive with them. Wow. <laughs> to be honest with you, because um, I didn't have a father. I mm -hmm. grew up with mm -hmm. my uncle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my uncle was verbally abusive. Wow. And he was physically mm -hmm. abusive. Mm -hmm. So uh, you see from a child, you know, when you have to be defending yourself, yep. mm -hmm. then and so. I just, ha men had a bad taste in my wow. I, I, I love men, I grew up with my brothers mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. So I, I love the, the company of men. Right, but, um, right. You know, when it comes to relationship, mm -hmm. it was not very, very good for me. I, um, I, and you know what, Charm? I yeah. want for you to just stick a pin right there because I believe a lot of us as women, when we have challenges or dysfunctional relationships, yeah. there is something within our childhood. Yes, that causes that, it. Yes, yeah. that contributes to it, that. It, it, and. Yeah. For each of us as, as women, we, we really need to go back and heal. I think Popson, she has to I the think, child, healing the inner that child, child, heal the child in you. Yes, you and, know, and whatever trauma you may have experienced as a child growing up, because it can really have a negative impact on, on, on the success of your relationship. Mm, that is yeah? true. Mm -hmm. That is true. And, and you know, it, it, is, it is a very sticky situation mm -hmm. when, as women, and I, you know what, I asked my mom. Why didn't you just give me your name? Wow. You, I, I went all mm -hmm. the way through uh, basic school, mm -hmm. through primary school, mm -hmm. through high school. Right. And then I, I figured this out and it was right after. In order to even get rid of the name, I said, you know, the guy I was speaking to, he, he had proposed and I, I really never wanted to get married. Okay. But I said, you know, I want to get rid of the name yeah. so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I got married. Not because of the name per right. se, but at least I wouldn't be attached to that, to the, name, that name anymore. Wow. And I, I felt mm. the release. I, I felt free. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm. you can be in a psychological prison. Yes. Oh and, yes. And and, and I mm. knew I was in a prison when my mom told me who my real father right. was, and God just healed me mm. miraculously. I struggled after that. Yes. And it was, you mentioned Popson. Yes. You know, one day I spoke to her and she yes. spoke about the inner child. Yes. And yes. I spoke to the mm -hmm. inner child within me. Mm -hmm. And since that, I've been soaring like an wow. eagle. Wow. Beautiful. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and so I, I created the channel. The pandemic came and I yes. created the channel in order mm -hmm. to help others. Guys, I've never spoken And I've shared the story. channel, guys. I want for you to just click on the link and go and follow Charmily's YouTube page. You won't regret it. I kid you not. It's one of the best YouTube channels out there. If you have experienced trauma or psychosocial situations yes. where, that you need to overcome, you need healing, then that's definitely the page that you want to be on. Yes. Yes. I And I also motivate and inspire yes. because there were times, uh, you know, we grew up in church yes. and the church was good enough for our spiritual life, but the church never really taught us how to love. Yes never taught us mm -hmm. we go to church we don't we have father figures mm -hmm. but we never had fathers wow you know what i mean mm -hmm. and my mother well, was a not solid really point there. I, I want to reiterate that in the church there are father figures but not fathers mm -hmm. and you know what charmily as you mentioned that it's one of the concerns that i well had and, and maybe still have as a single mother with my son growing up in the church and it's something that I, I pointed out one time I'm like listen I'm a single mother in the church and I don't find you know the men or the brothers you know kind of mentoring they're not, they're not mentoring they're not, they're, there's no mentoring it's they're like tear, you no. are pretty much left on your own as a single mother to raise your son so I go to church and you know people will gravitate towards the children who have both parents, parents that's true but the ones with the single parents they, treat they don't gravitate outcast. towards them yes, you're, yes. You're, you're, and you would think that in the church you would have that kind of you know more supportive system 
is it is needed in the church especially for single mothers that's true mm -hmm. seasons greetings i see here hey don seasons it? greetings to you <laughs> guys if you're here hey millicent how are you just go ahead and click on the share button we're just talking and you know it's just so much that we're talking about today um i beg to differ ladies um i'm aware that several children get the wrong father but 75 percent actually um Millicent, if you look at the statistics, it will tell you it that it's seventy-five percent. I have done the research yep. myself. Seventy-five percent. Yeah. Um, and please note, it is based on the studies done, right? So it's not the entire population yes. of Jamaica that the study was conducted on, yeah. but of those persons who went and did the DNA test, seventy-five percent of those children, they were not given to their real father. 75% 75 75. of them. Mm -hmm. Right? So if there are 10 women in a room, pretty much, or 10 women went to do those tests, seven of those children, they didn't get the right father. Yeah? Seven of them. Yes, hey, I, Maureen. I, I, I deliberately went and I did the research. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah. you know, I did a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is. It, it, it creates emptiness it does. In, in the lives of, of the children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I don't have a victim mindset. I'm not a victim. I'm We're a victim. We're victors. <laughs> we are. <laughs> you understand? We're victors. Because what happened to me when I was a child had nothing to do with who I am. Right. It is the guardians that God provided for us. Mm -hmm that went off yes, and, and yes. did what they're supposed mm -hmm, to do. Mm -hmm. So pretty much I, I really think highly of myself. Yes. And that's why I was, I, I used to have, mm -hmm. I still have the stutter kind yes. of thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, because of those things and, wow. and the way people treated mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. you know, treated me back then. Mm -hmm. um, but I have overcome. Yes. We're and overcomers. Over, yes. We're victors and yeah. we're overcomers. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't matter what your past may be, guys. Yes. Your past doesn't define you. It does not. Right? Because at the not. end of the day, you have no control yes. over what's happening in the past. That's right. right? You, you don't even have control of what happened in the future. Yeah. You only have control over what happens now. And if you make the right decisions now, then of course that will also influence what will happen to you in the future going forward. Yes, and yeah. if you go over to my page, those are issues that I deal with. Yes, yes. Um, you know, to help you along your journey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so go right now and subscribe, or right Please. after the live, then yes. you can go and subscribe to the channel. Honestly, um, if you don't feel like you like the page, don't don't subscribe. You understand? Because they won't watch the videos. Ooh. But we don't want to push anyone. So we want you to watch the videos, yeah. guys. We yeah. want for you to watch the videos. Yeah. I mean, in a time when there's just so much drama and negativity and pessimism on social media, you want to find yourself in a non-toxic yes. and positive space. And yeah. on Lee Nicola's page, Charmelee's page, that is what you will definitely find there. That's what you'll definitely find there. So Charmely, um, we spoke about childhood trauma, right? How did you overcome, you know, those traumatic experiences? All right, so one, I've, I have God with me. Mm. And I know how to pray. I've, learned, I, I, I've been in the church from age, well, three. Yes. And I am, I am, I am dog of my age, not a pup right now. Well, see. <laughs> so I mean, I. See. But 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 um, you know, prayer. Mm. Prayer. Um, knowing myself. Yes. Um, what I tend to do is a lot of journaling. Right. right. So I write a lot. Mm -hmm. And the the issues that I couldn't deal with on my own, mm -hmm. I got counseling for that. Oh, wow. I was able to get the counseling because I knew in myself. Mm -hmm from reading i read a lot right, <laughs> right. And, um I, I learned from that i learned mm -hmm. vicariously from my friends who had right. their parents mm -hmm. and i learned that um there was something missing and i needed to get counseling mm -hmm. so i i see i sought the counseling right. that i needed right. to help me to to grow mm -hmm. and the bible you have to if you don't have god yep. i'm telling you it will be very difficult mm -hmm. moving through life mm -hmm. Um, when things like these happen to you, right, right. you know what I mean. And so the the, the Bible is 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 my light, wow. is my life. 
Mm. And I read and I pray. Thy word. Yes, is a lamp unto my feet. feet. Yes. Mm. And, and 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 I stick close to God. Yes. When the traumas were happening and yes. I, I didn't know how to to, to express myself, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I got inundated with issues of mm -hmm. my life. Right. It, it is the Bible. And it right. is praying. Mm. I tell you, I pray. You have pray. to know God for yourself. Yes, pray. Mm. Oh my God. If you don't know mm. God, and so the church. My grandmother yes. was my guardian, wow. and she never left me. Praise God. She never left me. I was Praise 14 year, years old mm -hmm. when she died, and oh, wow. you know my life was never the same. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, development. Right. And right. you never stop growing. Never. Never stop developing mm -hmm. as an individual. Yes. So. Yes. You know, the way I was last year, I'm not the same this year. Can I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell yeah. you? I mean, it's. I don't know how people believe that evolution. Um, you you are. It was a process from monkey. And yes. Thing. Yeah. When you evolve, you become better, and That's true. you know it's it's pretty much what's been happening to me to charm because I was looking at some pictures like from maybe say about ten years ago. And I look at me now, and you see, the Bible says that he would give you beautiful ashes. That's right. right. And when you have been through, you know, these terrible and traumatic situation, and if you anchor your souls in that heaven of rest, you know that song, I will anchor yeah. my soul in that heaven of rest. You know, there's something that God will do for you that no man, no job, nothing at all yes. can do it for you. Yes. Only God alone can do it for you, but you have to anchor. You have to anchor your soul. Yes. Okay. And, and and may I add, when when women well, it, it is not uh, cut and dry, it's not uh, for everyone mm -hmm. and the situation is 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 uh, you'll find some people in the situation where when you don't have that father figure and that right. guide, um, you end up choosing the wrong, wrong. men. Mm. The wrong men because I honestly did not know what to look for in a in good a husband mm -hmm. in a man and so I learned these things over the years wow. and I decided that I would I would work on myself yes. Yes. and so God gave me a, an amazing husband Woo! right Tommy he, isn't he, <laughs> no, girl, he gave yes. me an amazing husband yes. and, you know it, it, you see how when you heal can we drink to when, that? When you heal, <laughs> when you heal, you will grow. Mm -hmm. You will grow, and 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 with and, healing there is growth. Wow, I love that. You see all of these takeaways, guys. Make sure you're writing them down. With <laughs> healing, there is growth. So if you realize that you are not growing in your life, there is something you're festering. Sad, yes. You need to get healed. And you're for that. holding on to something. That you, you need, need to, to let, let it go. go. And yeah. and so, um, Tammy, you asked me, how did I heal? How mm -hmm. did I overcome this? Right. And one of the major factors was forgiveness. Woo! Mm. Forgiveness. Can I tell you about that? Ah. Forgiveness. Yeah. I I I had to forgive my mom. Yeah. Um, mm. because when a matter of fact, when I when I told her. Oh my! When I when I when when she told me who my real father, my mother is. You know how old time people steer, right? Mm -hmm. She was tight lipped. They're not saying anything. She was tight lipped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't re reveal anything. My wow. mother. And when I prayed mm -hmm. and I got up, that's why I believe in the power of God, and I I've seen Him working in my yes. life. Guys, don't skip off the live. Come in, come in, everybody. And share, in. please, guys. Come share. In. Let me yes. see if I can come share from share this on the like phone. it up and yes. comment. And mm. you know, um, see, I am actually um, seeing what they're talking about. Hi, see, see look, Sister Mary, so, how, are you, see, <laughs> how are you doing? How are you? Yes. She is. Yes. She is. And I think I saw Shalee. Hi, yeah. Shalee. Go ahead, guys, and click on the share button. We want for you to help us to build this life today. Share, Hi, mommy. share, share. I call her mommy. Yes. She, she, is, she was one of the early influences yes, I remember. in my life. Mm -hmm. Sister Mary Those Mas, days back there. in Birds Hill. Yes, oh, yes. Wow. She has been a wonderful, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wonderful source of strength yes, and yes. guide to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so I, I was telling you that when I, when I, when I got up off that bed after mm -hmm. I prayed, mm -hmm. Right, yes. and I told my mom when my mom told me, sorry, who the father was, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. 
After a while, I was crying because I was oh. overwhelmed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God, you know what she did? Tell me. Why are you crying? Stop oh, crying. Oh, Jesus. That is a time mm. when I needed the hug. Yes. And, and who I had mm. to console and I had to mm. call my sister in Connecticut. I, I drove down to New York and right. I had to call my sister mm -hmm. crying. Mm. And my sister was the one who consoled me. Wow. And I, even though but I prayed for her. Why do you think she responded that way though, Chambly? And I, I spoke about forgiving her. Because I'm sure that is something you have had to forgive her yes. for. That, yes. Just that response. And yes. I've spoken to somebody else who had a similar situation where she had a traumatic childhood. Yes. Right? Where she was molested, you know, from the age of five. Yeah, and, and and when she told the mother about it, there was no response. There was no comfort, no compassion, yes. no support. I mean, and, and literally, this person is hating the mother right now. Um, I because I I, well, I'm connected to humans, mm -hmm. and I I'm studying social work. Right. Right. So I understand that my mother's response mm -hmm. to me was from her childhood mm. from her childhood and and how she processed yes. um my hurt and and mm -hmm. and and deal with it in, dealt with it in that yeah. in that moment it was it was not easy it was not easy for mm. her it was not easy for her and my mother is loving to me so you can't even hold that against I know her you can't because really and truly as you said she didn't know what to do but here all her the response. story the story unfolds mm -hmm. Shortly after that, my mom got dementia. Oh, wow. So, so the God allowed her to speak. Remember, I said she mm -hmm. was tight-lipped mm -hmm. and she doesn't reveal anything. And so oh. once, once I asked her that question mm -hmm. that I never thought about mm -hmm. before I asked her, mm -hmm. she never thought about the answer. It just came out. And she started talking, talking about and she told me the whole, whole story. story. Oh, oh, my God. You know. So wow. um, a lot of women, one out of three women, mm -hmm. and this is from study because mm -hmm. honestly, I don't speak what I don't know. Right. I don't speak what I don't research mm -hmm. and study. And um, it is said one out of three women mm -hmm. have been abused. One, one out, out of three. three. Silence. One, one out, out of three. three. Yes. Mm. And um, women have a lot to deal with. Mm. Um, that That is people imposing mm -hmm. their their beliefs mm -hmm. and, and stuff on us and mm -hmm. and raping us just taking away from us psychologically your dignity, your dignity mm -hmm. and, and and all of that and you really have to be anchored in, mm -hmm. in god um for him to um, take you through and forgive forgive it releases yep it releases something inside of you mm -hmm. and it it makes you free it doesn't make them free no. it makes you free no I had a similar experience to Charm where for me to have gotten over, I had to forgive. Yes. And sometimes, honestly, for me, I think, I thought I for, uh, I thought I forgave, mm -hmm. especially my ex, the way he treated me. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, I realized that you don't really forgive. And so, you know, that's something I prayed on over time right. and realized that, you know, it has nothing to do with him. And it's everything to do with me, how you respond mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. um, and what you think mm -hmm. is, is the most important mm. thing. Wow. Millicent says, can I tell you tomorrow, when you don't look like what you have been through, ah. you know that the favor of God, praise God, is upon yeah. your life. Yes, indeed, God's favor is upon our lives. And that is why, viewers, we use our platforms for this purpose, to, teach, yeah. to share our yeah, stories, to teach, yeah. because we know that there's just so many people out there who have been through similar experience as we do. They are even going through right the situation right now, and they're looking for uh, um, for hope. Yes. And we want to give you hope. We want to let you know, guys, that despite everything that you have been through, there is a better life. Either. don't underestimate the power of God and him working in and through your lives it doesn't matter what you have been through and I can tell you this much guys 
there was a point in my life when I was broken. I was messed up. I, you know, it's like I didn't know what to do with myself. But God came through for me. And it's so important that we don't give up on God, right? We, there's a song that says, don't give up on God because he's not going to give up on you. When we think that we are lost, it's not because God has given up on us. It's because we have given up on him. He's always there. You see the story or the Bible speaks about the story of the shepherd who had a hundred sheep. And one of them went astray. And guess what? He didn't leave that one. He went in search of that one and he ensured that that one was taken back to the fold. And that is how important you are to God. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter how bad your situation has been. Just know that God's love for you is so reckless that he will leave the 99 just to find you the one. And when you think that you are alone, you are never alone because God is always with you, right? So, as the song says, if you have pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, the God that we serve, he's a chain breaker. And that is why I tell people, it doesn't matter what I have been through. And it doesn't matter how sinful I am, I'm not going to let go of God. So if you want to look at me and say, oh, who is she? She's nobody or she's nothing. Just know that the God that I serve, he's my friend. And he can be your friend too. You know, if you need saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you've got pain, guys, he's a pain taker. He's a chain breaker. It doesn't matter. He's a way maker. He can be anything that you want him to be right if you need a friend he'll be a friend who sticks closer than a brother if you feel lost you know he will make that path for you i think somewhere in the book of isaiah the bible says that god will make you know paths through those desert places and sometimes you're going through life you feel like you're walking through a desert place you feel like you know nobody is there you feel alone but we serve a good god we serve a good god Yes. serve a good God. So Charm was telling us how she got over those early traumatic experience, right? And I, she spoke about forgiveness, right? And sometimes it's not about forgiving others, but also forgiving yourself. You have to. You have to. And and um, it is because of the, the word of God that I know who I am. He says I'm royal, and I wow. believe it. Wow. He says that I'm and holy mm -hmm. and righteous and I'm just yes and I believe in my of course I sin we all know that mm -hmm. but he says I'm his child mm -hmm. and the word of God says when what mother and father mercy will you. amen and the Lord will lift you up don't mm -hmm. you believe that mm. we have to believe him yes I yes. have witnessed it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. witnessed it wow it is and he will just her. you know put those people in your life like Yes. My, when I look at the people that God has put in my life, well, I mean, Charmaine, you have been there from day one. Day one. Mercy. Yeah. It's just amazing, right? When you lose a family and the friends, and God will just give you back he will tenfold. Replace, oh yes, my he will God. replace it with beautiful mm -hmm. souls. Yes. And he will give you those people who, you know, will, will understand you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, will, will have the positive energy and, yes. and the aura that you need wow. to grow, mm. you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So forgiveness, what were the other strategies that you used? Other strategies that I use um, is to do positive self-talk. Wow. Positive self-talk. Isn't that overrated? It is not. <laughs> it, it is really not. Part yeah. of self talk. And there were days, and uh, what, you know, things like this, the things that happened in my life, let me mm -hmm. just get, get re centered. Uh, and it's not alcohol, so I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's honestly, fine. Yes. And, and, um, We're in the spirit today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, you know, all right, you asked me. What did you ask me? And, um, what how, were the other the, things that you do? Yes, and it's yes. so positive self-talk. Right. Um, you have to believe that you are worthy. Yes. And so, mm. um, 
I suffered from depression, from depression mm-hmm. for 10 years in the past. Wow. And I was able to heal myself mm-hmm. with uh, proper nutrition, yes. with exercise, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with just getting my mind in the right place, wow. with reading his mm-hmm. words, praying, mm-hmm. with getting counseling, yes. Yes. Um, you know, those things that, you know, brought light into mm-hmm. my life. Mm-hmm. I love the woods. Mm, you saw the pictures. Yes, yes. I love going in the nature, woods. Nature, yes. I love nature. I love going in, mm-hmm. into the rivers, to the park, anywhere you find water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And those things were very fulfilling for me. Mm-hmm. And um, and 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 so what I would do is to get up every morning mm-hmm. and make it a priority to just speak positive words to myself. Wow. Wow. Um. It, a ma- it's a matter of speaking it, mm-hmm. but if, if you will, do, is, if, is if do you, you believe, believe it? Yes. Do you believe it? Because mm-hmm. people can say I'm special, I'm yes. wonderful, I'm, I'm yes, I'm worthy. Wow. But you don't believe. You have to believe that you're worthy. I like you said that you said charm the importance of knowing your worth. And I think you know even especially and, and even for men too because I think. Just like how women suffer from low self-esteem, men. men suffer too from low self-esteem, and we don't understand our worth. I mean, how? What can we do to help us understand our true value? As I mentioned before, and I don't want to make this biblical. It's not a church mm-hmm. service, mm-hmm. but for me, honey, it it's the the Bible. Mm. It, reading the word and, and God says he will be with you. Yes. He will take you through the waters, through the floods, mm. through the fire. Yes. In whatever situation mm-hmm. you're going through, mm-hmm. he will be there and you yes. have to believe mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Right? Psychologically, um, the Bible has helped me yes. in a yes. very magnanimous mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I, I was reading the word and I said, see it here. When mother and father forsake you, seek you mm. God will take you up. Mm. I was treated differently mm. in church because I never had mommy and wow. daddy there. Mm. And you hear my voice. Mm. I remember singing, Jesus loves me, because mm-hmm. I know. I remember singing in the choir. Mm-hmm. I remember singing at AY and they just right. laughed at me. Huh? Are you serious? Yes, and I remember singing and the, the choir director said, you know, singing is not for you. And I wow. said, I said, I don't believe that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And one day, this is testimony time, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. One day, um, this father who my mother gave to me, mm-hmm. I went to live with him and I said, you know, um, I, I wasn't able to go to church. Right. That, that During that season, mm-hmm. his churches weren't very close. And I remember I went on the veranda and I sat down and I started singing. In every little bit of thing I do, and it sounded different. Oh, sing that song, girl. Sing that song. Sing that song. In every little bit of thing I do, I'm gonna do my best for you, oh sweet Lord. I'm committed. I'm gonna give my all and all, no matter what's the call. Oh, sweet Lord, I'm committed. Mm. And, and, Come uh, on, I, child. You know, Wait, I want to hear that song again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear <laughs> Sing that song, girl. Oh, oh my God. What? Wow. Come on, child. Don't, 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 don't hold back today on me. Come no, on. Girl. Sing that song. Sing that song. In every little bit of thing I do, mm. I'm going to do my best for you. Oh, sweet Lord, I'm committed. I'm going to give my all and all, no matter what's the cost. Oh, sweet Lord, I'm committed. Praise God. And I, I just wow. sang it. And funny wow. enough, a lady heard me. While she was passing my yes. home, mm-hmm. I said, we have a concert. That's right. That was my first concert. Mm. Wow. First concert. Wow. Miss Marshall. Mm. I said, Lord, I'm Come on, guys. Come I need from. to see the comments coming <laughs> in. I need to see you. I need to see the hearts popping up, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, guys. Let's see the comments popping in. Let's see the hearts popping up on the screen. If you have been blessed by this live today, go ahead and let's see some love. Drop a heart in the chat. Oh, sweet Lord, I'm, I'm committed. committed. Oh, my yes, word. And, and mm. you know, since then, I realized that I never belonged there. Wow. And I pack up my dosamina. Remember the brown mm -hmm. dosamina? Mm -hmm. Those all the folks that you have on here. Yes. They yes. don't know those brown mm -hmm. um it was a, a, a rectangle suit. I, I remember those. Yes, yes, I passed it up and mm -hmm. I went back home, honey. Mm -hmm. And I was rejected. Wow. My grandmother was quiet, but mm -hmm. the uncle um said I uh, go back where you're oh, coming oh from. Oh my god. And I went to live with the man wow. the same man was my father his wife is a strange wife mm -hmm. and and his children mm -hmm. and i you know about the stepkids wow I wasn't treated right mm -hmm. so and by that time you knew that this man is your real father no i didn't know you didn't know at that time i didn't know so you but went to live with kind him with his wife well, i went to live with him mm -hmm. and then i went um after he was nice to me and oh. i'm not used to anyone telling me curse words and stuff wow. and he was an american so you know mm -hmm. the words they'd use mm -hmm. well i'm not saying americans use um expletives right. all americans mm -hmm. but those rude ones mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and so um man it was it was a tough time mm -hmm. i remember and then I, I went went home and my uncle who was very physically abusive to me oh, wow. and uh said you know go back where you come and i mm -hmm. went to the the, the, the stepmom mm -hmm. so called and my my sibling and it was nice i went through what you right. there mm -hmm. and then one day i just get up i said look i prefer to take the meeting yeah man mm -hmm. and i stay in at least because mm -hmm. i at least my uncle used to travel on farm work so i had periods where yeah, had i wasn't peace. yes mm -hmm. and i was always in the bushes i wasn't getting the, the spank the flagging mm -hmm. eating mm -hmm. uh, for nothing at all and so i went back home and i said you can't run me from here because in mm -hmm. fact my mom my mom has a piece of place there too right, you know what right. i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes yeah, so you know how that goes wow. yes um the, just the mm -hmm. will and testimony mm -hmm. i i belonged right. i belonged and i mm -hmm. and i and, and i started becoming real stubborn i said look this is where i'm going to be right and so the last hit i got was almost in my eye with a belt buckle oh, he asked me to make porridge for mm -hmm. him and i made the porridge too thick i was pretty young mm -hmm. I could have made porridge. Yes, I made the porridge. How old too. were you? <laughs> um, I, I was in. Um, I was I about make, fourteen. I could have made porridge at fourteen. Don't give me no porridge to make at four. I, I was about fourteen. Rice. I made it and made yeah. it good with nutmeg and cinnamon mm -hmm. leaf and stuff. <laughs> and, and it was just too it was It was good, but it was thick and oh mad. My God. He was in the banana walk with a friend. Mm -hmm. Imagine, you know, why I tell you those people are mm -hmm. the abusers. And I, I made it and I took it to him. Mm -hmm. The other gentleman took the porridge mm -hmm. and he he drank it and mm -hmm. he said, man, this is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he didn't think that he was satisfied. Wow. The belt buckle went all the way wow. around the banana tree. Just like that. Landed right in my eye. Oh and my, 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 my grandmother now, I couldn't go to school. Mm. She was giving me chocolate tea. Mm -hmm. And she got a stroke, honey. And so well, one she was of, giving you the no, tea? no. She got oh. a, she had gotten a stroke. Let me let me let me set it straight. Okay. She gotten a stroke, and she was walking limp. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. with one leg drawn, and mm -hmm. that you know, that's how she was. Mm -hmm. And the tea while I was on the bed, chocolate tea. Who knows the chocolate tea? Hot, tongue. very hot, hot, hot cool, hot, mm -hmm. and it threw away on the cocoa because by now I have a big old cocoa. Ooh. Man almost hit out my eye mm -hmm. because of part. Look here, you see this? Mm. He chopped me on my hand and this fingernail is crooked wow. because he chopped me. He chopped oh my and God. because I cut a long cane. And, and so my mom, my mom actually said she got a call. She was in Kingston working mm -hmm. and she got a call. And Call said, Yago, make them kill your pity now. Oh, Jesus, right for nothing because I was quiet. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, and honey, 
that was the end of the band. And to learn that after he started having kids, he never, put never, his hand his, never, never. Mm. And so then I realized that, well, I knew from then it was abuse mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. my brother and I went through it and we never did right, anything right. to get the beatings. Mm. It's nothing major. We'd be carrying water on our right, heads, filling right. six drums. Wow. And, and, um, and, and a little water yes. throw and we get beaten for that. that. So it was nothing wow. Wow. really. Um, wow. you know, my, my brother would be standing near the wall and Jamaican, mm -hmm. Jamaican wall is concrete, black mm -hmm. and cement, mm -hmm. and he would just hit up his head what? on the wall. Yes, so I know it was abuse. And, wow. And it, it, I forgive so it's, him. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a generational curse. I think so. But I, I only him beat me. Only him beat so me there, and then so he must around. have gone through some form of trauma I have been like that but he never did it to his kids so what so it is, is it, it it's um mm. his thing was that we prevented him because my mother wasn't there from pursuing his career oh wow so he and was so it took it towards out. you guys yes wow wow hello lady andrew how are you how are you i'll give you a shout when i'm off this live all right awesome awesome yes wow no i don't yep. really talk about yes. it but yes. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid anymore mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not mm -hmm. suffering anymore yes yes i've learned to forgive mm -hmm. him but i had to draw a line yeah my mouth is getting dry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i had to draw a line is he still alive oh yes he is and in my adult life, when because my mom got the dementia mm -hmm. shortly after, she told me who my father right, was. Right, right. It's it's just a, a in, in my um, estimation a miraculous story wow. because God allowed her to open her mouth and yes. speak just mm -hmm. like how the ass stop. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. He allowed, he opened her mouth mm -hmm. and let her speak, and then I saw God manifested right there. Wow. And so, as even as an mm -hmm. adult. Mm -hmm. Uh, my uncle, um, and I still love him, mm -hmm. who, um, he tried to disrespect me as an adult, just the same, wow. and I said, I had to tell mm -hmm. you, love, please don't call me back, mm -hmm. you know, because yep. you, I noticed that you don't do these things yep. to your kids, I mm -hmm. think you look down on us, yes, and yes. it's time that you cut that out, and right. I, so I had to draw the line have to draw where the I line. cut communication mm -hmm. off. But mm -hmm. if I see him in the supermarket because mm -hmm. he's living in my area, he would give me a hug and right. I give him a hug and we go our way. So right, that, that's it. That's yes. it. Yes. You, you know, and it's so important, family, that you have mentioned that drawing the line, yeah. um, setting the, the boundary, and I see where Lady Bonner is commenting, yes. <laughs> um, Post-slavery society, it's a lot about mm -hmm. power, yes? Yes. Um, you have to, to set those boundaries. So even though you forgive your 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 abusers, yes, you have you to set. It doesn't mean that you have to be up in arms. Exactly, with them, you, know? you still you still draw that line. You still yeah. set those boundaries because in most instances, if you give them a second chance or give them the opportunity, they will they'll continue the to abuse you. They'll do, they the same, do the same, right? So you have to make sure that those boundaries are set. When dealing with abusive situations, yeah, yeah, and um, I, I, I didn't want to be a, a victim of Stockholm syndrome, mm. um, but you know, I, I was strong, and it was then I learned to fight. Mm. I learned to fight. I learned to fight. I learned to stand up for myself, mm -hmm. especially in high school. We know the saying: if a child lived with uh, what, what was it, abuse, mm -hmm. um, or you know those things, they learn to. To, to fight, right, yeah, right. fight. Aggre mm, aggression they become also. aggressive yes wow wow yeah it's, it's, it's a lot guys we, it's a lot to digest we have been talking um for pretty much how long about an hour, about an hour so, hour, so we're gonna cut. We, we have been talking now yeah. and you know charmily is giving us the exclusive on her yeah. story right yes. where she started from and where she is right now and i want for you to guys to make sure that you jump over i'm going to share the link with her page um once again her youtube channel right and she's really just focused on healing right and for even for me too having been through these traumas we are focused on healing because there's just so many individuals out there because when you think that you are, have gone through this alone there are others who have been in the you're, same you're situation. Not alone. Exactly. Yes. And there are a lot of people 
tool charm that's covering up because talking about these situations it, it takes so much out of it people. takes courage it takes healing and it and, and you have to heal you have to be in a place of healing to talk about it yes to talk about it talk about it yes i remember uh back in the days just the thought and i would be breaking down in tears yes so it means that there is still um and even now, and there's still some residual yes. um, effects, yes. right? Because I really don't think you you, you get over trauma 100%. No, you don't. You right? just have to work with it, work yeah. past it. The wounds are yes, still the there. Yeah, the wounds are still there. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, just like when you get a cut, the scar is there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, but just to remind you of, of, of yes. that you got a cut, yeah? Yes, and, and, yes. and, and before I go... I, I want anyone who is viewing this um, to know that transparency brings healing. Mm. So the more I love that, that, that I love that, that's, that's I love I, that. Yeah. Go, that. Go ahead, guys, and drop that in the chat. Transparency brings healing. So if you need healing for your situation, you need to be transparent Talk about, about it. Stop yes. covering up. Yes. You don't need to cover up anything, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes. I mean, yes, we're ashamed, but what are you going to do about it? Yes. Become transparent, become vulnerable. Yes, it and has that's, nothing yeah. to do with you. Mm -hmm. What other people do to you, even though it affects you, yes, um, it doesn't make you a bad person. Mm. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Remember we mentioned that you are a victim, not yes. a victim. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that victim mindset. Right, and right. so if you don't have the victim mindset, mm -hmm and you are transparent mm -hmm. about who you are, what happened to you, right. then healing will come quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was when I started um, talking, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I kept it inside and yes. it just beat me up. Mm. And I, I would cry and that's why the depression came, Whoa. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And so um, this, this, this um, author, Andrew Bonner, yes. says some churches are abusive mm -hmm. too. And that's where the already abused go for right. refuge. I agree with you 100%. Oh. You know, the way they speak to your children when mm -hmm. you're not there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, just not giving them um, a just place. Right. You know, that's a just it. place. That's it. And some people will not like you, you know, and like yes. the position you're in, and they mm -hmm. treat your kids mm -hmm. bad too. Yes. You know? yes. So, I mean. And, and I've seen it, I've experienced it. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and they will treat you bad too because of your story. Yes. Because of your situation and, and they know what you have been through. Yes. They will mistreat you for that reason. They will mistreat mm -hmm. you. And um, may I say that I, well, my, my, my grandmother uh, was the one who brought me up in church, mm -hmm. right? And so she left. In fact, I owe Damien uh, an interview. Mm -hmm. uh, um, to talk about this right. um, when when you grow up in church as a single woman mm -hmm. as a woman who has no parents there are no guardians mm -hmm. you don't get the same favor mm. you do not get the same favor honey they will talk things about you mm. I went through so much with church members mm -hmm. and I haven't quit church but I haven't gone in due to the pandemic, but right. but but I I was at a point where I I just didn't care anymore, mm -hmm. and and so certain stigma will follow you yes. from church to church mm -hmm. because of how people talk about you, wow. and so gossiping is one of the things that mm -hmm. as adults, grown adults, we need to kill yes. that. Yes. You need to kill that because it stops with me. Yes, it stops with me. Here I am as a young woman who mm -hmm. is singing, who is preaching, who is going around, you know, uh, ministering. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, I couldn't even talk to a guy. The next thing you hear is that oh, you are with the guy. Yes, and those kind of things. I know. It I can know it goes. can hurt your self esteem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? It can. It can. And I, I always tell people about yeah. the story, Charmily. Yeah. Of when I was leaving to go to college, yes. a sister from my home church, yeah. she saw me in Mayben, and her remark was, "Oh, that thing say you could have left White Marga College," because I was not quote unquote in, in, in that um, strata 
of individuals to be going to college. So they think those so long. I, I should have been um, one of them teenagers getting pregnant. I shouldn't be going anywhere. Right, yeah. so they think the worst of you. Well, my my teacher looked yes. at me because I'm always in male company. I told you guys mm -hmm. I grew up with my brothers, right. and so I felt more comfortable mm -hmm. in male company. I didn't right. know how to 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 um so to have with, socialize. Yes, with, that's with the word women, I'm looking yes. for mm -hmm. with women, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so I find all the guys and chit chat with them, Sorry. and mm -hmm. I were able mm -hmm. to. To, to flow in yes, conversation yes. that way. Mm -hmm. In fact, I used to dress like a boy. Oh, wow. I used to dress like a boy with this shirt out and, mm -hmm. you know, those long sleeve shirts right. and stuff like that. Um, because that's what I emulated. Right, right. right. And I could identify mm -hmm. with that. But as I grow, you can see that I'm very girly. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just not easy. They, they, they are not kind. They are not nice to you, and the hear says and, and all yes, of that. But yes. we have grown past. Yes, that. we have. That when you say something mm -hmm. about me um, in this day and age, like water off a duck's back, like mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. So you have to oh be at that God. place where you have strength within. And, yes. And one thing I have mental fortitude, honey. I'm yes. very strong mentally, mm -hmm. so I've mm -hmm. learned and and everything I had to learn to get over myself. Yes. Yes. And they say only the strongest will survive. Will survive. Yeah. And you're looking right now, people, at two strong, powerful, and phenomenal women. Praise God. Yes, we have been through it all. And I know you have your story too. But yes. you know what? We thank God that he kept us and he preserved us through all of that because he knew that one day our story would have become our testimony we would have been sitting here this very moment on this very day and this conversation that we're having now it wasn't planned but it was destined, it was destined. by god yes and I, i've never god. spoken about yeah it. so um it, it was never a problem but it, i just, just didn't care for it yes yeah. yes and you know god has a way of just healing our souls yeah yeah and there's healing for you there's healing for me and if he did it for us, he can do it for you too. Are we gonna do a song before we jump off? Yeah? No, nothing. Then if I <laughs> oh, child, we you could do a solo, that's fine. Just you do know. something. Don't put me um, on the spot. Just do something. Um, I love that song you did earlier. Um, I really, I really love it, guys. You know, we just really want to thank you for being here with us and you know for just joining in this in this moment, like yes. um, and this is how we get our healing too. Right? Be transparent, guys. Don't don't sit and bottle it up inside of you. I will eat you out. Let it out. It will eat you out. And you know what? Don't settle. No matter what you have been through, don't settle as a victim. Remember that you are a victor. You, you can be healed. You know, you can experience that better life no matter what you have been through, whether it was abuse as a child, abuse as an adult, and guess what, guys? Abuse has no face, right? It doesn't come with any qualification because sometimes we think as women, because we have our qualifications and so on, or because we're beautiful or we're singers or we're this and that, we will never experience abuse, right? I never thought, and we said it today, Charm, that we would have had this kind of experience, That's right. right? Because, you know, we were going to church, we were singing, and, you know, we were empowered. As young women, we were empowered, we were. right? We, 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 we <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then it just happened. Yeah. It just happened. And then potentially our lives could have been totally uh, devastated and destroyed. We, we could have been wiped out. But you know, I you know what I mentioned to my husband the other yes. day, I don't cut to you. Mm. I don't know how I was a top student in school that mm. I was selected to be prefect mm -hmm. because of the the, the, the spanking and, and, and all of that. You were so determined. On. I was determined. Wow. From wow. a young, mm. young, young child. Right. I was always on top mm. in high school. I was a prefect yes. in high school, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and even with the, the different abuses, I still remain. On top. Still remain on top. Mercy, mercy. Kimberly, how are you doing, honey? Uh, Millicent says, been through hell and back, but God, but God, yes. That's it. <laughs> 
Let's get ready. Whoa. Wait, I can't believe Kim yeah. we are in one place. We are in one place. Imagine what? that. <laughs> Guys, doing? this is exclusive. And you need to no click way. and share this. And you, you need, need to rewatch it, it, share it with your friends because so many people are hurting. hurting. And guess what? Yeah. The pandemic never made it easier. Never made it any better. Mm -hmm. You know, so guys, hi Kim. Oh my. Big up yourself to Big up yourself, honey. Big up, big up, big up, big up. I love you to your Kim. Oh my Oh, watch your and she's a powerhouse. Yeah. She's a powerhouse. She's a powerhouse. Too. Yes. Wow. We go way back. Himself. Like yeah. you know, we go way back. Yes, man. You know, but God is good. Kim God knows is good. where we are come from. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. She knows. She oh, knows. She knows. She yeah, knows. man. You know, one thing I tell myself, Charm, doesn't matter what I've been through, and I think you did the same too. There's absolutely no giving up. Yeah, no, you can't stop me. No, mm. not a thing. Sally does her job. You just can't stop me. <laughs> solid as a rock, people. Solid as a rock. Yes. Solid as a rock. It's so, so when, so when life you. throws whatever at you, mm, mm -hmm. you're gonna be standing firm. Yes. Right, you don't want to weak you, washy, yes. and no matter what, guys, and it's, it's really just building um, that tenacity and resilience within you, right? Because we were not, were we born resilient? I mean, it's just life's experiences, it is, but I think you know, it's there's, there's, there's just something, to, 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 right? To, um, press on, right? And no matter what, you, you just keep pressing on because there's just so many people who have given up on life yes. and just settle in, in, in whatever situation they're in. And you just have to know, guys, that no matter what, tell yourself, even if you don't believe it now, tell yourself, there were moments, child, when I was standing in front of the mirror. You talk about positive talk earlier, self talk, yes. and I was talking to myself. Oh, I was geez. looking at myself. I was saying, "Tomorrow, you can do it. Tomorrow, no matter what." And you spoke about the journaling. Yes. You and know, right I was writing. I was talking to God through writing. No matter what, guys, don't give up. Don't let go. Any final thoughts, Charm? <laughs> you know, guys, just keep holding on. I know one person may be watching at this time who is going through a hard time. Who uh, may feel as if there is no way out. But let me tell you how I see God. Remember how I mentioned it this morning? Yes. That there is only a splendor of light mm. that's hiding him from you. Right. He is right in your midst all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Pray and ask him to be with you. Through the waters, through the flood, through yes. the fire, mm -hmm. and you will, you will never regret it. Wow, wow, yeah. wow! God is with you, <laughs> and that's the note that yes, we are going to leave you on, guys. No matter what, just remember that God is right there with you. Lady Fauna, thank you so much. Kimberly, um, Kimberly, you both are so strong. <laughs> God is so amazing. Yes. Uh, yep. Miss Millicent. Yep. Miss Millicent. Yes. Yes. And yes. Yes. mommy, mommy Mary, mommy Mary, mommy. Yes, Mary. sister it's Mary. Special. All right. Yes. So guys, if you are here, because I'm seeing a number of people here, but I'm not seeing you dropping any notes to yes. let us know that you're here. Awesome. So where? Let us know where you're checking in from, right? And go ahead and click and share this video. And don't forget, guys to make sure that you go over to Charmony's channel and follow her on YouTube because guess what? You got an exclusive from her on my page today, but guess what? You are gonna get an exclusive from me on her page. So you wanna make sure that you are one of her subscribers. So I've shared the link there a number of times um, so you can go ahead and make sure, guys, I'm gonna share the link again I'm going to share the link again. Make sure that you subscribe to her page for that exclusive interview. Chalice and so uh, Lady Bono, thank you so much. Right, New York is in the house. <laughs> and I think it's mostly Jamaicans that's here right yes, now. Yes. And, you know, wherever you are, you're checking it from, guys, thank you so much. God bless you. We love you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Happy New Year when it comes. Happy, Happy Year. holidays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably do something for, for New Year's, but all the best to you guys. Love you all. Take care. Take good care. Bye bye. Seeking inspiration, needing motivation, need a cola, yes.
was the one Sharing tips to cope Bringing joy and hope Lena Cola for battles won